Is it any wonder? Is it any wonder that we wind up with complex PTSD after narcissistic relationships? Looking at all of those manipulation tactics, imagine, actually, we don't have to imagine. If you're watching my video, you don't have to imagine. <laughs> Living with somebody that is doing that to you 24 seven, it's no wonder our nervous system is a mess. It's no wonder we, we're dealing with complex trauma symptoms. And so this is where at this point, it's not about learning more about identifying how many things they do. We can learn about all the things they do to manipulate, to insult, to psychologically twist you up from the inside out. We can memorize those things. We can watch these videos over and over and over again. And it doesn't mean that we're not going to fall for another narcissist because what happens as a res result of these relationships and because most of us had these dynamics at some point in our childhood, there is an inner template that we have that is filled with subconscious limiting beliefs that actually cause us to reenact relationships with narcissists. This is where things like limerence kick on, which by the way, that's a whole nother video. The thing with our subconscious beliefs are when we're around somebody that reminds our subconscious of maybe a, a caregiver that we have a relationship with that was rocky, that we never felt resolved in that relationship. Well, our subconscious mind wakes up and it's like, ooh, this is similar. So this is another opportunity to get it right. And so every fiber in our body will be pushing us to try to make it work in these dynamics. What are we doing when we're staying? We're trying harder. We're trying harder and harder. We're yanking our personality inside out. We're trying to get it right. We're trying to do, be, think, and feel whatever we're supposed to in order to make the relationship work. We don't realize why we're doing that, but the reality is the reason we're trying harder and harder and harder is because the narcissist puts us in a chronic fawn trauma response. So we are fawning because of the narcissistic abuse and, and we're trying to fix the relationship by fawning even more and it doesn't work. Then we get out of that relationship and we want to have healthy relationships, but we were stuck in a fawn response for so long that when we go into another relationship, it's still there. It's still on. So we can either attract narcissists on accident because narcissists love people that fawn. Yes, please fawn, please stifle you so that you can be there for me. That's the whole underlying thing about narcissist. So if we're stuck in the fawning response, we are like a magnet to a narcissist. Then on top of it, if we're stuck in a fawn trauma response, it's difficult to have healthy relationships because healthy people have a hard time with somebody fawning. They don't want somebody to fawn. They want somebody to show up as their real self. But if we're fawning, this is the thing with fawning. We're not fawning because we like it or because it's a personality trait as much as it is a trauma response that we learned to use to keep ourselves safe. Why do we fawn with the narcissist? So that we can avoid some of their anger, right? Or we do something the narcissist doesn't like, we stop doing it. That's fawning. We are constantly stifling us to try to make them happy. The antidote to never being in another relationship with a narcissist isn't so much memorizing the narcissist as much as it is breaking out of your fawn trauma response. I read a comment in one of my videos recently and the person put in that in that video, they were like, I'm so tired of it. I'm learning, 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 and I'm still stuck in these relationships and I'm still finding myself surrounded by these people. And again, the reason is because it's not about learning about the narcissist that helps you to break out of that. It's about uprooting what the narcissist did to your nervous system that keeps you stuck in trauma responses, stuck in limiting beliefs. When you uproot that, that's when things start to change. And guess what? That's what we do in Thriver School of Transformation. We meet every week and our focus is on putting the focus inside, seeing what's there, seeing what we can upgrade, what we can uproot from the narcissistic abuse, what we can unlearn so that we can be our best selves. And this month in July, we are doing how to stop fawning.
So if this video resonates with you, then make sure you come check us out. There are nine to 12 live meetings every month in Thriver School of Transformation, and it's only $79.99.